So I'm here at Six Flags Over Georgia. It's been open for about two months now. They opened up on March the 6th. Today it's uh, toward the end of April. And we're here to see what's new, if anything has changed as far as the uh, social distancing and the sanitary things that are going on here at Six Flags. I've already noticed a few as I came in the park. We'll uh, document those in just a little bit. So let's see what's going on with the mind bender. So there has been some testing being done on the mind bender. You can see here on the tracks where they had uh, recently painted it. And you can see that uh, there are some marks and some rust in those areas. all you coaster fanatics I have no idea what that is you can tell me in the uh, comment section and as I was standing here on opening day with Miguel the annual pass holder we noticed that the uh, water feature had been taken out and it looks like it's been permanently taken out. That has been sodded now. So there will probably be no waterfall unless they run some piping under the ground to the waterfall on the other side of the gate. And see, to me, it looks like the, the uh, portions that had been painted have scratch marks on them. So I would guess that there's been some type of testing done on the mine bender getting ready for what they say will open the spring of 2021. the Mindbender undergone a new name change, so has the Joker Chaos Coaster. It's now just the Joker. It's over here by the Georgia Scorcher. If you turn off to the left here, they've done away with these vendor booths. And they have some type of gazebo being built here. Not sure what that's for. Tell me down in the uh, comments what you think it, this is going to be for. Now when I was here before, this whole area here was designated as a mask-free zone. And there are no signs indicating that that is at all. They may have done away with their mask-free zones. We'll look around the park and see if we can find any other ones. If you've ever wondered how steep this hill is here, heading down to Gotham City, you don't have to wonder any longer because right over here is a sign that tell you exactly how steep it is. These signs are all around the park. They're there for the disabled, those that might be in wheelchairs or on walkers and crutches. It lets you know just how steep the inclines here are at Six Flags. And I kid you not, they're extremely steep. Heading out of the USA section, looking down at the ground, it looks like they've done some repaving. And this is, I think, since uh, the beginning of the year and if you notice they had a game booth right here that's been taken out and now there's a bench where it was they are still encouraging you to stay six feet between parties but as you can see that doesn't really happen and the uh, masks free zone has been taken out of in front of the Raven Gap station 
Monster Mansion has been repainted. Looks kind of like a, a lime green. Probably the biggest change is that the sky buckets have been taken out. There's no cables. The only line that you see up there is an electrical line. And that uh, looks like that's probably connected to the barometer and the uh, wind direction uh, device that's on the top of the tower there. And again, no mask free zone here any longer. There is a mask break zone here in Bugs Bunny Toontown. All you coaster folks let me propose something to you down here in the lick skillet scream punk area they've taken out the sky buckets and everything on this side of the uh, the road the park here has been removed except for the funnel cakes and the miners coal mine barbecue so could it be that they're just preparing this area for maybe a coaster or some other type of ride they'll tear down these buildings and they'll pop something in here. Tell me what you think. And as you can see on uh, Catwoman Whip, they are not distancing the, they're not distancing the seats. There's no spaces in between the seats. And no gaps in the seats, even on the coasters. That's it for what's new at Six Flags Over Georgia. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy videos about Six Flags and other things around Georgia or the South, then subscribe. It's absolutely free. And until next time, the road is closed.